Africa, the birthplace of humanity, the cradle of civilization. But what if the true origins of black people were not just recorded in history, but also whispered through the sacred texts of the world's religions? From Christianity to Islam, from ancient African spiritualities to modern science, we will explore mysteries hidden for millennia. Watch until the end to uncover secrets that connect all of humanity to the heart of Africa. Christianity. In Christianity, the Garden of Eden is traditionally linked to the Middle East, but a closer look at the Bible suggests a different possibility. Genesis mentions the Gihon River encircling the land of Cush, which scholars associate with ancient Africa, likely modern-day Ethiopia or Sudan. Could Eden, the birthplace of humanity, have been in Africa, a land rich in biodiversity and ancient history? This theory shifts the narrative, positioning Africa not only as the cradle of civilization, but also as a potential origin of humanity's divine story. The Kebra Nagast, a sacred Ethiopian text, deepens the connection between Christianity and Africa. It claims that the descendants of Ham, Noah's son, settled in Africa, and that Menelik I, the son of King Solomon and the Queen of Sheba, brought the Ark of the Covenant to Ethiopia. Ethiopia's claim to house the Ark in the Church of Our Lady Mary of Zion weaves African history into the fabric of Christianity, suggesting that Africa has been divinely linked since ancient times. The Ark, guarded by Ethiopian monks, remains a symbol of this sacred legacy. The Ark of the Covenant itself is shrouded in mystery. Beyond being a religious artifact, some believe it held divine technology, possibly lost to time. Ancient African civilizations, with their profound spiritual knowledge, might have had access to this divine power. The Ark's legendary abilities, such as parting rivers and striking down enemies, raise the question, did ancient African civilizations understand something about divine forces that we have since forgotten? Could the Ark be a remnant of humanity's lost connection to the divine? Ethiopian Orthodox monks continue to guard the Ark, though its exact location remains one of history's greatest mysteries. No one, not even the highest religious authorities, is allowed to see it, and the guardian of the Ark lives in seclusion, passing the secret down to his successor. This centuries-old tradition begs the question, do these monks hold knowledge that could unlock ancient divine powers? Could the Ark, if uncovered, provide humanity with answers about its spiritual origins? From the Kingdom of Kush to the Ethiopian Empire, Africa has long been at the crossroads of spirituality, history, and divine knowledge. These civilizations were not only centers of trade and culture, but also hubs of spiritual significance. The intertwining of African history with divine narratives raises the possibility that Africa's role in Christianity and the spiritual history of humanity is far more significant than once thought. Could Africa hold the key to rediscovering humanity's lost connection to the divine? Islam According to Islam, Adam was created from clay, taken from various parts of the earth. But some scholars believe that the clay that formed Adam came from Africa. Prophet Muhammad himself sent his early followers to seek refuge in Abyssinia, modern-day Ethiopia, highlighting Africa's role as a land of refuge, knowledge and protection. But here's a secret few know. The ancient city of Timbuktu was not just a hub for trade, but a sanctuary of hidden knowledge. Islamic manuscripts stored in underground vaults contain teachings that stretch beyond religion, mathematics, astronomy, and mysticism. And what about the lost tribes of Aden Thamud, destroyed by divine intervention for their wickedness? Some believe their remains, including forgotten African civilizations, are still buried deep beneath the sands of the Sahara. Could these hidden tribes hold answers to Africa's forgotten past? Strangely enough, some ancient African art shows what looks like interactions between humans and beings from the stars. Could there be a deeper, more cosmic connection between early African people and divine forces? Judaism. In Jewish tradition, Noah's son Ham is often associated with Africa. But there's more. Some ancient Hebrew texts suggest that the descendants of Ham 
were not just settlers, but rulers of a powerful African empire, the Kingdom of Kush. The Kingdom of Kush, often overlooked in mainstream history, was a rival to Egypt and, according to some sources, even older. Here's a little known fact. The Bible mentions the Kushites numerous times, and Moses himself was married to a Kushite woman, connecting Jewish history directly to Africa. Could the lost wisdom of the Kushite Empire hold secrets about ancient Africa that we have yet to uncover? The Queen of Sheba, another key figure linked to Jewish history, is said to have come from Ethiopia. Some speculate that the true nature of her journey to visit King Solomon involved more than mere diplomacy. It was a quest for spiritual knowledge hidden deep in African lands. These symbols, found in the ruins of the Kushite Empire, show a striking resemblance to early Hebrew writing. Could this be evidence of a lost connection between the Jewish faith and Africa's forgotten kingdoms? African Traditional Religions Long before the spread of Abrahamic religions, Africa was home to deeply rooted spiritual traditions, many of which still endure today. These ancient belief systems were not just explanations for natural phenomena, but comprehensive cosmologies that sought to understand humanity's creation, the universe, and the divine forces governing both. The rich diversity of African traditional religions presents a unique perspective on the origins of life and humanity. Could it be that these ancient African spiritualities hold the original keys to understanding human creation, predating the texts of Christianity, Islam, and Judaism? In the Yoruba belief system, the deity Obatala is said to have molded humans from clay, echoing the creation narratives of other major religions. However, Yoruba lore adds a mystical twist. Obatala was not the sole creator. He worked alongside other powerful deities, or Orishas, who helped shape not only humanity, but the cosmic forces that govern the universe. This collaborative creation story suggests a complex understanding of divine interaction, where the deities influence not just human fate, but the balance of the cosmos. Even more intriguing are the stories of African gods descending from the skies. Some African cultures tell of celestial beings who brought advanced knowledge of agriculture, astronomy, and even mathematics. For instance, the Dogon people of Mali recount legends of beings from the Sirius star system imparting knowledge of the stars. These stories, combined with carvings found in caves across Africa, depicting interactions between humans and celestial beings, suggest a deeper, perhaps extraterrestrial connection between early African civilizations and the divine. Could these sky gods represent more than mere mythology? African shamans, seen as intermediaries between humans and the spirit world, may have preserved this ancient knowledge in their rituals. If so, the spiritual practices of African shamans could contain long-lost insights into modern science and genetics. Science and religion agree on one thing. Africa is the birthplace of humanity. The Out of Africa theory, supported by modern genetics, shows that all humans can trace their lineage back to a common African ancestor. But here's where it gets mysterious. New discoveries are revealing that there may have been multiple waves of migration out of Africa, some involving advanced human species that remain a mystery to this day. In recent years, the discovery of Homo naledi, an ancient human species found deep in African cave systems, has raised more questions than answers. These early humans had burial practices, suggesting they were far more advanced than previously thought. But what if there are more human species, lost to time, waiting to be discovered beneath Africa's vast deserts and jungles? Could these undiscovered species hold the missing link between human evolution and the divine? And if so, could the ancient civilizations of Africa have been in contact with these early humans, sharing knowledge and perhaps even spiritual practices that are now long forgotten? Thank you for joining us on this journey through time, faith and the mysteries of the universe. If you found this exploration enlightening, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you never miss a moment of discovery. Until next time, stay curious. Stay open and keep searching for the hidden truths that connect us all.